See this thing? If you don't know what this is, it's a tampon. Today we'll be talking about tampons and the tampon ta tax in the US and our take on it and what we think about it. Yeah, most specifically we wanted to focus on whether or not we felt that the tax was discriminatory against women and the fact that it's something that we naturally have to do and our bodies do and so why are they taxing us on it? Why are we being charged for something that we need and why aren't we able to write it off nationwide as a medical used item? So a couple items that are used by us women that are considered medical items and um, fall into the category of medicine is birth control, yeast infection medicine, and Medicaid condoms. So unfortunately, tampons are not on there. Okay, so the rate of tax on a tampon is 2.5% to 7, actually I lied, 2.9% to 7.2%. And even though it's a very small amount of tax, it does add up. I think it averages at about $70 per month that women spend on tampons. And you know, you gotta think about it, the average age span that women and girls start their period and become of reproductive age is about between age eight being the youngest and age 50 being the average that, you know, they we hit men, well we hit terminals there, we hit menopause and we stop bleeding. <laughs> And don't need tampons. So as of you know, this month right now, where we stand in the U.S., um, year 2016, month of May, there are 40 states nationwide that do not consider these items medicine and tax these items. Um, there are five states that consider these items medicine and they are tax exempt, and then there are the five states in our country that do not get tax items. So in order for us to be relieved of this burden, we would have to have all 40 of those states pass a law exempting these items from tax rates. So it's only 40 states that we have to individually convince to stop taxing us. It's not like, you know, we have the option of having a period and we don't like we don't get to say like, oh, I'm not going to have a period this month, so I'm not going to pay $6 for the tampons or the sanitary pads that I need to, you know, have this period. We we have to have it. It's in our biology to have it. So we we think that this tax is a punishment. Really? Um you just you know, in Wisconsin, erectile dysfunction medicine is tax exempt and it's considered something that, you know, men need and should have access to it without paying the added fees. So why is something that we actually require in order to be healthy and thriving individuals and have reproductive to, individuals have to, you know, deal with this. You know, it's just another burden that we females already have to deal with. We already are marginalized by being born a female. You know, it's no secret that we're in this big gender war that's never ending it seems like you know fighting for equality and to be considered equal so it's just another another way to burden us so we like speak of this like burden and how it's like you know hard for us because you know this is like a natural thing for us it's it's in our biology and when you think about you know burden on like a white woman you don't think, you know, you don't you don't think it's that much of a burden. But when you think about colored women and all of the things that they have to go through, it's it's much more difficult. And just added when, to the double burden. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. And so this tax on on tampons could really burden a mother and her children that are say age twelve about to, you know, be menstruating. Then she has to pay for their tampons. And not only does she, does she have to pay for hers. I should pay for her daughters. Exactly. And then if she has two daughters, that's what? $18 per month times how many months you have menstruation. That's like, I don't know. A hundred, two hundred, hundred something. Well, the average. Two hundred. The average is like seventy dollars. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do math. 
<laughs> um, one, two. I went to about 21. Thank you. $210 average for if you have a household with three women. Exactly. Three females at reproductive age. So it's just crazy. And it's just, it's just added fees again to us when we're already down. It's like kicking us when we're down. Like this isn't even taking into consideration all the other items that we purchase in order to help, you know, suffice that time of our periods, you know, heating pads, water bottles, uh, ibuprofen, Tylenol, heating patches. Like there's all these items that we are required the way I feel because it's needed. It's and needed. It's, yeah. And it's like not even just the items. It's, you know, the, your well-being, like how you have to use the restroom every three to four hours and sometimes sooner for people. So that means you have to take your time away from job, your jobs. You have to take your time away from your children, from schoolwork, from things that, you know, people like men who are making these taxes Again. don't don't experience and don't get to feel what we feel 